In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the roll call function works. Um, when you go to your course, uh, if you see attendance, that is um, for roll calling. If you don't see this on the menu item, so you might want to go to settings and navigation and bring it out from down here to the top area and then you can start to use it. Uh, even though you put it in the visible area for students, uh, students will not be able to see it. It is only visible for the teachers. Okay, um, so this is how it works. You go to attendance and it's an external app that will launch. So sometimes it will take a little while uh, usually what you see is like this, okay? This is uh, what is called a list view. And there's also a seating chart view here. You can just uh, drag people to the specific seating charts if you use a seating charts um, in your course, okay? If you use a list view, um, this is what it's going to look like, okay? And uh, to mark somebody as present, uh, you can just click here and this is mark somebody as present and th this is uh, let's click on here again so John Public is not present and Ron Walker is present um, but late okay um, and you can define whether somebody is um, present physically or online by using tags if you click on more here you can just uh, add a badge okay once you add a badge it adds it for everybody even though i just started uh, clicking on more for one particular student so i'm going to add a badge here and this one i'm going to call um, and then um, let's choose the star icon and then let's use the green icon here and save this badge so I have a physically present, and I will add another one. Let's call this remotely. And once again, I use this star or something else, um, this one. And then once again, I use green for this one. So I have several tags now. So if I mark, uh, mark uh, Mary Jones as present, but uh, she's present uh, remotely, I will check this one and Ron Walker is late and she is um, physically present okay uh, this tag do not go into grades it has no grade value to it um, but it is just a way for you to find out on a particular day where that student is uh, in your class so this is how you mark it. You can also mark everybody as uh, let's say Tuesday Monday everybody is um, present. Uh, once again, uh, Mary Jones is uh, remotely present and Ron Walker is uh, physically present. Okay. Um, and you can also define how much you want the lateness to be worth. Okay. Uh, let's say attendance roll call settings here. Usually, a lateness counts towards 80% of the grade, and so you can just change this um, folder if you want to. Okay, um, let's just leave it as 80. Okay, and also, if you do not use attendance call to count towards grade, you uncheck it here. Okay, this is pretty important for you to do. Okay, if you do not want to use attendance score for the semester, and then after it is set up, you just uh, close it. Um, so I have taken attendance for two days. What is going to what is it going to look like for uh, students' grades? Uh, I, as you can see, I do not make it count towards the final grades. So let's see what that is looking like. You still see attendance score here, um, but it is not counting towards the total score, as you can see. But this is uh, just a way for you to keep track how much a person is present in your class. Uh, you do not want to make this shown to students as well. If you just want to uh, click on grade posting policy and um, 
and you choose manually and you save it that way the grades will not be even this column will not be shown to them if I don't uh, students can check how uh, how much grade they have if I just choose automatically let's show you what it's going to look like from student view okay so let's say jump public okay let's go to his view so go to grades roll call attendance there's an exclamation mark here uh, it, it shows that this assignment does not count towards the final grade however there is a score that has been shown here that means you know John this uh, student um, you know was present 50% of the time um, this actually 50% means you know I have uh, taken attendance twice and one of the time he is um, present that means 50% okay so the the score is not accounted towards the f total number of attendance taking events that you have throughout the semester but it's however many um, attendance sessions you have taken okay so that that's what is this is going to look like but it's shown clearly that this does not count towards final grade so in case students ask um, if you just want to um, have a total uh, calculation of how many times a person has been present or absent uh, you need to download that uh, attendance report okay click on attendance again And then you click here you download this you click on uh, attendance report here uh, and you, you don't have to select the start date and end date or you can and then you can run the report and email will be sent to your mailbox okay and with a very long link and you just click on it let me see this one so I'm going to click on this it is asking me to uh, save it and I'm going to save this document and I will just open it and I will show you what it's looking like so now this is what the report looks like it shows you know how many times somebody has been present and late and all these kind of scores are here